of Fortune again. Okay? I'll tell you what, though. You, again, you have to make sure that you've released the toxicity. Alright? Whatever reason you're holding on to that toxicity, whether it be because you just have a lot of bills to pay, um, you know, sometimes you might fall short of money, things are going to move forward for you because there's an investment here. <music> Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Um, if you are new, welcome, and we appreciate you joining our tribe. We're going to talk about the rest of April here, actually April, for Virgo. Virgo, I want to take a look at uh, your headspace and see what we have going on, and we will also try to illuminate. Sometimes I forget to turn on my light. Uh, we will illuminate what's going on in your world and your situations and um, see what spirit has for you see what kind of message spirit has so many wrinkles I know it probably looks crazy right anyway um I just I it, as a Virgo does that drive me nuts <laughs> I know it's not funny but it is funny and my uh moon is in Virgo so trust me I know I understand the whole needing to be neat and tidy okay Virgo what message what messages do we have here oh I'm hearing if you guys have not already please go ahead and subscribe they're looking forward to working with you I think we're about to have quite a few new subscribers. Lots of new messages coming out. Six of Swords and the Devil in Reverse. And I, you know what? I'm taking the reversal. Because that's the way it came out. Cards. Normally I do not read reversals, but this is... You know, when it's a, a card like this, I would rather see light and positivity come to your life than I would any sort of toxicity. But in this particular case, Virgo, you're going to be moving away from toxicity. Toxicity is what I hear. I'm hearing drinking. Um, all of those things that were, if somebody was enabling you or, yeah, I'm hearing you're moving away from an enabler as well. Um... Anybody that kept you in a state of illusion, you're moving away from, right? And it's causing you some pain. It's definitely causing some issues. This is the Nine of Swords. Let's get one more card here, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. Okay, two more cards. Two of Swords and the Fool. For some reason, there's an indecision regarding a new beginning, though, here. Okay. Something about square pants. The only person I know that has square pants is Spongebob. So maybe that means something to somebody. <laughs> square pants. Square peg round hole. Maybe something's just not working out properly. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck in your energy. You definitely have abundance coming in. Jupiter is the ruler of the wheel. And it's all about manifesting greatness and bringing in something new, something positive, something beautiful. Okay? Uh, this full opportunity uh, is more than what you think it is. And I think something may just kind of, what I'm hearing is fall into your lap. And you're undis you're you're not, I don't think you've seen it yet is what I'm hearing. Like it hasn't happened yet. Um, justice on the other hand for your other person it, with this particular card I'm actually picking up on the eyes here of this bull that is around so, so you're waiting to see the truth is what I'm hearing okay yeah that's a bull in swords energy so fire energy yeah this is Aries season 
okay i know that it's very quiet for some of you because of the um the uh what do they call it um i keep seeing it on tv alone together hashtag alone together um you know there are a lot of people that are alone right now social distancing that's what i wanted to say you haven't seen it yet is what i'm hearing the new opportunity is coming now all right so for your other person let's see what's going on with them no. Spirit and ancestors. Our Archangel. Guidance. Please let us know what's going on for Virgo. All right, your other person. Gemini energy. Love. The lovers. Soulmate contracts. Soulmate unions. I'm hearing three of coins here. Somebody wanting to work together. We have the Wheel of Fortune again and five of wands. I'm hearing switch these two. Okay, so the drama is in the past. The drama is in the past. There is a new opportunity, three of coins here, in your other person's energy. This is a choice that will be made. There is an offer of love in their energy. Knight of Cups at the bottom. Let's see, what's this justice? You're both justified. You're both. This person is extremely balanced. Extremely balanced. I mean, right now the scales are not tipping. Everything is even. Okay. There's definitely some conflict about moving towards this new beginning with your other person, though. Um, they may have some legal issues that they are dealing with. Could happen sometime around Gemini season for them. I'm seeing indecision on your part, though. They're offering you an opportunity. I think there might be a few people involved with this opportunity, Virgo. Pinecones are about finances. And in this Five of Wands, I'm picking up that this is more about investors and possibly money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because this is actually what a pine cone, it's almost like an acorn, but how pine cones start out. I know that's crazy. I'm talking about pine cones as being abundance. Anyway, it's the seeds of opportunity is what you're looking at here. All right. But in order for these seeds of opportunity to happen, there needs to be a release of toxicity and a flow of abundance to come in regarding a new business, regarding a new. This is this can be friendship. This can be love. I saw lovers at the bottom of the deck. This is this could be family as well. Okay, maybe you're dealing with the Libra with this Justice card here. We also have another um, Earth sign. Yeah, and we also have the Truth here at the bottom of the deck. Um, what's behind him? Yeah, this is this is definitely about family um, and moving forward. There is a feminine energy and a masculine energy here. Seeing the Truth about a fire sign as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for the messages. Virgo, April 2020. Mm -hmm. Knight of Coins at the bottom of the deck. That's your energy. All right. Slow, persistent. Someone who actually takes their opportunities, you know, they, they methodical thinking is what I'm hearing. Methodical thinking, someone that does things correctly. Oh, okay. So we actually have the Six of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the King of Wands. Yeah. This is a, a, a larger story than normal. I think presently, right now, you see the you don't see the abundance, okay? Because we talked about that, you don't see the abundance. Um, 
and this this person could be family I mean this is a family offer all right and I think you're going to take quick passionate action towards whatever this is going to be you are going to step into this new opportunity Mm -hmm. you're, you're making a balanced decision regarding your future, Virgo. And it's actually quite a blessing because it's going to remove toxicity from your life, which is the blessing that karmic justice wants to bring in for you. I don't know if you know that or not. So whatever it is that's toxic around you, um, whatever it was that you were doing in the past, you're definitely move away. You're moving away from it. You are having to fight for it though because it's always been a part of your past all right but you're you're moving forward you are going to take action and move away from it um you still haven't made the choice to fight for this yet though because and what's crazy is what you've always done in the past has always worked for you but it's time for a new beginning and you see that justice is on your side you see that life is on your side they're telling you it's time to move forward with a new abundant blessing and beginning wow this is a beautiful read i mean you have toxicity reversed you, you there is some fight here but really that fight is to gain a whole new relationship of love to gain a new opportunity a new blessing where two individuals are putting into a cup of love you know look I, and i like i said this could be family because see we have two separate households here you know, it also could be two. It could be a career, could be business. One's a home. One looks more like a, a building you would go to work at. Not White Castle, but that's definitely not White Castles. <laughs> Crystals if you're down south. So, Knight of Swords, King of Wands. You're eager. You're eager to start your new journey. You're full of passionate energy. You understand Aries energy. I think that releasing the toxicity is actually, you feel the abundance. You feel the blessing. I also see marriage here. I see marriage. I see two diamond rings here. Mm -hmm. I think some of you might be getting a second chance at love. You're in your head about it, though. You're definitely in your head about it. I think that you had to leave a toxic situation that you didn't see clearly. And you're, you're starting fresh. You're starting fresh when it comes to love, guys. Um, yeah. At, at this time, Virgo, your greatness is about to show through in April. Um, I know that you have to be patient and you have to wait. We did see the lover's card here, which is Gemini, which is right around June time frame, maybe end of May into June. Um, but you're prepared and you are preparing. The one thing about this fool card, though, is I want to tell you, please be careful. Um, I'm seeing that... I don't know if pursuing a new love interest is what you want at this time. I think you're pretty, I think you might be doing this, this solo dolo thing here, unless you're planning on getting married. If you are planning on, on a reboot with a relationship, um, could be a Sagittarius because you know, we've got the wheel of fortune here, which is ruled by Jupiter. You guys. It's, it's definitely a, a new beginning and it's a new love. And I think that you understand that the universe is balancing everything out. It's almost like somebody has to get out of their own head in order for this to balance around. And, you know, this is all happening just because it was written that way. It was written that way. I'm excited for you, Virgo. You have major opportunities coming here. When I also see this card, um, yeah, look, there's a third diamond there. Right there in the middle. You have diamonds all over this, these cards. Because of something that I was sent 
the other day by a friend of mine. They sent me something that said that if you, something about carrots helping with this um, time frame right now and helping as far as a remedy if you are to catch COVID-19. Um, so I'm going to mention that to you because I do see these carrots here. And I thought it was very unusual that that message was forwarded to me, but I figured someone else would need to know. So go check that out on the internet. Not sure if it's valid or not, um, but if there is some reasonable thing that carrots are helping, then you may need that or just to add it to your diet so that you can stay, um, you know, to where you can move around and do this to like, if you, where did I see that at? Like if you do need to go to a business or someplace, um, you're not passing germs. Okay. You're, you're, you're not susceptible to what someone else wants to offer you, you know, and then you don't have to, you don't have to fight being sick. Yeah, that's just real. Oh, so anyway, what I was saying about this card, though, is that when I see all of the work that goes into creating, okay, it's, it's an abundant blessing. See? See the wheat? Okay, it's already there. It, this structure has actually already been created. So whatever it is that you are investing into, Virgo, it's, it's abundant. It's abundant and it will pan out for you. Um, do me a favor though, okay? And I am going to just kind of warn you. Be very careful of any drama um, or if there's someone around you that could possibly just use harsh words, okay, regarding your, your moving forward. Or, you know, just be careful, you know, if you are moving quickly. This is someone who thinks and acts, you know, like, no, I'm sorry, they don't think before they speak. So just be careful with that is what I'm hearing. And, you know, don't let anybody verbally abuse you either. All right, because that will not go well for anybody and people will move away from you. Verbal abuse is never okay. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look in an extended to see what else is going on here. Okay. Uh, I want to clarify. I want to see what this blessing might be. Let's see if we can get some more detail out of it. Um, I also want to know if there's something that your other person is not saying because there is some. there are other people here. All right. There are other people that are going to be a part of this investment. And I do see a potential for new love or a rekindling of love. Um, and somebody just moving very, very quickly. You know, they are in their power and they're moving quickly. And karma is definitely here trying to bring you something fruitful as long as this toxicity is released. Okay? So we'll look at any other blocks and the healing path forward. Peace and elbow grease.